Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, dodgy, poorly dressed pilot here. <laughs> and I'm here to show you how a dummy operates the FMC. Okay, yeah, I've spent a bit of time on this on the last couple of days. Uh, why? Why would I bother? Well, you all know we're all waiting for the new PMDG 737 and I have a feeling we're just going to have to upgrade ourselves, okay? I've been approaching it with fear and trepidation. I've been avoiding it. I've been in denial. I've been trying to stay away from it and do all my flight plans on the uh, planning page of the game. But I'm afraid D-Day is getting closer. And um, when that PMG, PMDG plane arrives, we may not have any choice. We will just have to learn to operate the FMC. Um, because some planes are like that, especially the study level planes. You can't do your flight plan on the uh, flight planner page. You have to ha you have to actually put it into the FMC. So I'm afraid if you're looking forward to that plane, it is a skill we're going to have to work on. Like it or hate it, uh, we're going to have to have a look at it. So I've been scanning over lots of YouTube channels and pulling my hair out with frustration. frustration saying a few naughty words, trying to find some that I can actually put together and make head or tail of and understand. And I tell you, it's not easy, as you know, if you've been looking for tutorials on a particular subject. Um, I did find one, however, that was a little bit helpful. And this guy's channel is called Pilot83, okay? It's spelled uh, Pilot-0083. And uh, on this guy's channel, he does a few tutorials and things. Well, quite a few tutorials. And uh, he didn't give me the full picture. I still had to go looking on other YouTube channels. Uh, but the way he just sort of pointed out the basics, I, I, could, um, I could understand it. Okay? And uh, I managed to put something together. So, Pilot83, thank you. I salute you and uh, appreciate your work there. Always give credit where credit's due. That's what I believe. Um, so check out his channel if you like. Give him a like, give him a sub, or say thank you, or check him out. Seems like a really good guy. Okay, so I've been scanning over all these channels and going through some blood, sweat, and tears situations so that you don't have to, okay? So what we're going to do today is we're going to set up a flight plan in the FMC. And I've got to say, now that I've done it a few times and practiced it and learned it, it is really not that hard. Um, still takes a little bit longer than the flight planner page, but it does become quite fast after a while. And like I said, when the PMDG thing arrives, uh, plane arrives, we're just going to have to learn it. So I'm afraid it's time to upskill. Now we're not going to fly uh, on this video yet. On this video, I'm just going to use the FMC for a little while. So all I need is power, okay? That's all I need at this stage. I'm not going to go through the startup process. Okay, now we're going to look at things on this page here. So the, uh, the EACAS, we're going to click that switch over to the right, and that goes to that view. And we're going to click on this right part here. Highlights in pink when you hold it, and that's the plan. So click on that right one. That gives you the top-down plan view. Uh, now we're going to come up to this button here in the range and we're going to click on the right side of it about five times one two three four five okay that will zoom this map mode right out so we can see a lot or most of our flight plan okay so we can we do that we're all set for later okay now let's come down here now I've got to say you need to adjust yourself or get yourself a view of the FMC. Don't try and do it by looking over to the side or twisting your view around to look down. It makes it very hard and slow and painful. You really have to um, assign yourself a key or assign yourself a really good view of the FMC. It makes it a heck of a lot more easier. Okay, so this is the fault page we set up here. It's got indent at the top. It's got our 737 Max and the engines and some information there. I'm not going to explain everything, guys, because I just don't know. This is not a tutorial. This is just, I'm just showing you the way a dummy does it, the way I figured it out, and the way that I can do it. If it helps you good, that's fine. If it's uh, too basic for you, well, you can do a lot more study and research and find out more. 
um, but this is how a dummy does it which is very very simple okay so we've got this default page here now on the right hand button here position in it I'm going to click that now up here we need our position for the world map for the world satellite data the um, all the satellites and everything need to know the position of our airplane it doesn't know at the moment where our airplane is sitting so we're going to put our reference airport which is KSAN we're going to come down here and type it now down here is the scratch pad you'll see what I'm typing come in down here and then later we're going to transfer it in the right position so this is just the scratch pad like a notebook okay so I am at um, San Diego so I'm going to type in K S A N okay San Diego now I'm going to put it up here reference airport that's where we are right now now it's given the position now these two slightly different numbers here one is the position of the plane one is the position of the airport um, now this one down here where it's blank that's where we need to put our position okay so we're going to copy it we're going to click on the right hand side click come down here where these little blank squares are click on the right hand side bang and that puts our location everything in there why do we need to do that well when the PMDG 737 arrives we have to align our IRS now our IRS is way at the top here now on this um, in this non-study level plane by Braddock it is not modeled but you can see the knobs this is where the IRS is it is uh, by default set to um, navigation so when we get the study level plane we're going to have to play around with this a little bit we're going to switch it around to navigation and we're going to have to do a few button twiddling a few knobs up here but if we know how to put our location in like we just did that is going to help the ILS line everything up for us okay so that's why we do that right now we can move on to our route okay our origin we are going from San Diego KSAN so I'm going to put that in K S A N if I'm going too fast just pause it okay play a little bit and then copy me and then play a little bit again Okay, it's in my scratch pad, K-S-A-N. I'm going to put it in here where these little blank boxes are, origin. Okay, so that's where we are, K-San. Now our destination, I want to go to uh, Los Angeles. So I'm going to type uh, uh, K-L-A-X. K-L-A-X. And you can see that come up on our scratch pad down there. Okay, so I'm going to copy that into the destination by clicking this button on the right here takes a second or two to come up sometimes and there it is KLAX so our origin where we are now KSAN destination KLAX okay so now we are going to go to our legs okay there are no there are no um, waypoints or anything in there at the moment we can go to data perf data on the right hand side here and now we can put in our waypoints so the first waypoint I want to go to is minnow so I'm going to type that in down here m i n o e you know, you'll see it come up on my scratch pad I'm going to bring it up here and type it and click it and it will go into there okay so my next waypoint is excerpt so I'm going to type in e x e r t I'm very very slow exit you'll see it on my scratch pad there so I'm going to click that in there okay my next waypoint is going to be uh, K A S P I so I'll come down here K S or K 
KR, isn't it? Clear. K R S P I. I've got these written down by the way, because I've checked out where, what these waypoints are before. Okay. K R S P I. And you can see it on my scratch pad. I'll click there and it'll come up in there. Okay, one more waypoint to put in, which is Otis. O T T E S Otis in my scratch pad. I'll click it and put it up in there. Now this has come up here. Select uh, desired waypoint. I'm going to click on the top one. Okay. Okay. Now here you can see all the waypoints. Minnow. KRSPI and Oats. And is there one more? There is one more I want to put in, which is Guppy, which is uh, G U P P I. I think that's how it is. G U P P I. So there's another space here. I'm going to click the right button here, click it there, and it goes onto the list. Minnow, Exert, Kia, S P I, Otis, and Guppy, G U P P I. So I've got my waypoints in there. I've got five waypoints. Right, I'm going to click uh, Activate. Activate. And now the screen light will come up, execute. So I'm going to hit execute. Execute. Now I'm going to go to departure and arrival. I'm going to click departure. I'm going to take off from runway 27. It will give you a choice, okay, on the right hand side. Not much choice at KSAN, only a choice of two. I'm going to choose runway 27 click on that one. Execute. Whenever the screen light comes up on execute you just click it. That means it puts it into memory and fixes it in. Okay so come back to departure and arrival again. We've done the departure now we're going to do the arrival. Arrival. Now at um, KLAX arrivals we've got a choice of ILS's to choose from. If we want to do an ILS landing I'm going to choose 06 right ILS 06 right, click that one, and that's in, and then I'm going to click execute. Okay, now if I've done it right, I'm not sure if I have, but let's have a look. If we come up to our flight plan, we can see our magenta line going from where we're parked, goes up the coast, and to our KLAX. It should come around in a loop for our ILS approach and landing. Now if you want to check what you've done, what I do at the moment, because I'm not an expert, <laughs> I'm a dummy, I hit the V key and that brings up our old map view that we're all used to. And there we go, you can see my magenta line coming up the coast, uh, up the coast to KLAX. There's Minnow there, and you can see it brings me round to the right for a nice ILS approach at KLAX. And that's it. That is it. That is as hard and as simple as it gets. Um, and we're going to fly this route now and make sure that it actually works. Okay. Um, now wherever you are in the world, I'd suggest maybe you copy the route that I have made here, just as a practice, just get used to typing everything in, and then have some more practice building another route, maybe around where you live, or one that you're, for, you're familiar with. But at the moment, just copy, maybe just copy the exact one that I've done, just to have a little bit of practice. Now that's our route taken care of, but there is more that we can do on the FMC. Uh, if we want to 
you know, try and be a little bit more realistic. And, and we may need to do this on the PMDG one, so we should try and learn a little bit about it. Um, now go to this init initialization button on the far left. We're going to work our way down the list of things here that we need to do. Indent, that's our first default page. Go back to int, indent. Okay, go down to position. We've got all our GPS and our satellite positioning, everything in the system, so we're okay there. Hit init again. Come down to performance. And we're going to fill in the gaps here. Okay, over this side. This side's got our fuel, our fuel weight. We can put more in there for reserves if we want to. I'm going to just do the right-hand side because that's all I've figured out at the moment. Cruise altitude. I'm going to cruise uh, the coast at 10,000 feet. So I come down to my scratch pad, put in 10,000 10, feet in my scratch pad. Now I'm going to click it and it'll come up to here. Now you see it only looks like 100, that's because the display doesn't hold that many zeros, okay? It's like my bank account. It won't hold any more than one or two zeros. <laughs> so if you were cruising at 25,000 feet, it would be 250, okay? Because it doesn't show the other arrow, the other zeros. So there I am at 10,000 feet. Right, so that's all we need to do on that page. Well, that's all I've learnt to do. Let's put it that way. Thrust. Now we're going to leave all that as the default for the thrust. So we come back at init again. Takeoff. Okay, now this is our takeoff page. We want to set our flaps on takeoff at 15%. Okay, so we come down to our scratch pad, put in 15. There it is there. And we're going to click that into place where the flaps are. So we'll click that button there. There we go. Flaps 15. Now we come over this side. V1. Okay. So we want V1. We've got to put what our speed is at V1 in there. I'm going to put uh, 1, 136. And again, make any comments below if you want to adjust all this. That's fine. If you know better than me, and most people do, just put the right numbers in. 136, I'm going to put that in there as V1. Okay, now VR. Um, just at, um, let's take off. VR, I'm going to put 140. 140, I've locked that in there. And this one here, V2, I'm going to put uh, 148, click on 148, there it is there. I'm going to lock that into here, 148. Okay, that's our positive rate, okay? We see 148, that confirms we have positive rate. This is V1, and the 140 there is uh, when we take off, we pull back on the, um, the yoke. Okay, so that's takeoff done. Let's go back to init again. Only one more to do, and that is approach. So let's look at approach. Now I'm going to leave this pretty much as a default, but the only one I want to fill in is this one. It's the only thing I've learned to do so far, flaps and speed. So when we approach and land, how much flaps do we want, and what speed do we want? So our flaps on landing, I want to put 30%, 30, so I'm going to hit 30, dot, backslash, and my speed for landing is going to be 130. So I click 130. So there it is down here, my scratch pad, 30 dot backslash 130. And I'm going to put that into the flaps and speed area there. So there we go. As we come for approach and landing, our flaps will be 30 and our speed will be 130 knots. So let's go back to init. And that's it. We've worked our way through all of this list. There. Position. All our position is in the computer. Uh, performance. Uh, cost index. I didn't do. Pretty much leaving this for default now. Our cost index. I'm not sure what that's all about to be honest. I'm going to put five in there just so that I have got something in the box. Okay. Cost index. Okay. Thrust. I'm going to leave that pretty much as default. Go back to init. Takeoff. 
there we go we've got our v1 v2 all our speeds in there go back to init approach here we go on the right hand side we've got our flaps 30 our speed 130 knots now if you go back to uh, legs um, these are all our waypoints in here and it gives you the nautical miles our first waypoint is minnow uh, and that's 61 nautical miles away our next one is uh, excerpt and that one is 110 nautical miles away and we just work our way through um, and we can click next page down here and that'll take us to the next page guppy and then our last waypoint is runway six right okay go back to page one here okay and that's it that's all that we need to do there is a heck of a lot more we can do and there's a heck of a lot more we will be able to do in the default and i mean in the uh, pmdg 737 but this is all i've learned to do at the moment it is basic it is easy and it is uh, just the basics okay so our fmc is all programmed and we are ready to depart and when i turn on my autopilot we should follow that flight plan again if you want to check what you've done hit the v key and you'll get your map view up here and you'll see your gps flight plan you can zoom in and make sure you've got your flight plan all teed up for a nice ILS approach and a landing. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go through startup now and I'm going to take off and I'm going to cut, cut out here and I'm going to cut back when I'm ready to turn to the right and come in for my ILS landing and just make sure that the flight plan I have put in is actually works and is correct and it is going to be a good one for me to use on a regular basis. Okay, talk soon.